We're here with sophomore Kate Kuzma now. And Kate, last year, very interesting season for you. Several different injuries, missing different spurts here and there. But, you know, how were you able to battle through that? And, you know, you came back at the end of the season and now 100% strong, ready to go for your sophomore year. Um, injuries are not a great thing. Uh, as I'm sure every athlete out there has to deal through it, battle through it somehow. Um, my injury was different because it was not so much that I broke an ankle or I was in a cast. Um, it was an injury that nobody really knew how to fix or what was even going on. If It was mainly migraines and it came down to when I came back this year, uh, I went to the eye doctor just to pick up some more contacts and it figured out that my prescription was over prescribed by like eight times. So when I finally got that all situated and was on my regular prescription, I'm perfect almost. Um, I have shoulder problems, so I'm dealing through that right now, but it's all it comes down to how much pain you can take and what you allow your body to do, and you got to be smart about it, though, too. So, um, It's just, it's fun being back out there, and I'm sure everybody that's been injured in the past or has had anything happen to them, you know, you just want to go out on the field. Any athlete wants to do that. Just come out on the field and just play your best. Well, now, you play multiple positions, and... You know, it's kind of an interesting thing where there would be times last year where you may not have even known what position you were playing until looking at the lineup card or finding out if Coach Perkins told you to go warm up a pitcher or not, whether you're going to be behind the plate catching or out in the outfield. Just talk about having to prepare for games and, you know, knowing that basically you're preparing for two positions and obviously catcher is comes with a lot more responsibility than the outfield, having to know the pitchers and the team you're playing and the batters that you're going to be facing. Um, the great thing is that preseason and during the fall you work out a lot. I worked mainly outfield this year, even though I came in here as a catcher. And it just depends on where the team needs you the most. I mean, we have a couple great catchers, so we weren't really – we were pretty in-depth in that part. And um, we lost a really good outfielder last year, so Coach has a lot of outfielders working out. Um, just trying to – being prepared for the game, you just got to go out there no matter what position you're at and just give it your 100%, whether you want to be a first baseman or you want to be a pitcher. You just got to go at it thinking I'm going to be the best at whatever I can play at. And a lot of people have the attitude that as long as you're in the lineup, that's the best thing you want to do. Well, it seemed like one of your big strengths was the ability to get on base, whether it was walking or getting hit. You know, that first weekend you walked six times and you know, it seemed like you were always down 0-2, but somehow ended up on base. Just describe your approach mentally when you go up to the plate and, you know, just having that ability to work pitchers. And, you know, even if you get out, you know, when you're going to see 8, 9, 10 pitches, how much that helps the rest of the lineup, you know, making the pitcher show you everything she has. Um, I've kind of evolved into a hitter. When I was younger, I was more of a bunter and slapper, and then I stayed on the right side and actually became a power hitter or a spray hitter is what a lot of people like to call me on the team. But I have, um, it's a very selective eye. I don't, I have certain pitches that I like to hit and certain ones that I don't. And I think being a catcher, you kind of get more familiar with the strike zone since you're back there the entire time mainly. My approach last year was just to get on base. That's always been my goal because when you get base runners, that's how you score. Um, a lot of people have the approach that they need to get hits, they need to get hits. But I see it as a leadoff just needs to get on base somehow. And if you can help your team out just by getting a walk or compared to a home run, I mean, either way is just great. What are some personal goals for yourself for this season, whether it be personal team goals, personal individual goals, or anything? Personal goals, I really want to have a season where I'm healthy and I can play the entire time and not just quit halfway through. I felt really, I felt, I was at a disadvantage, I feel like, coming into this season because I didn't play the entire season. And it wasn't that I just wasn't good enough, I just didn't have the opportunity, I felt like, because of my health and my uh, physical ability at the time. My So my personal goal is to be able to healthy and do everything that I can to stay healthy. Um, I want to become a, a better hitter in that aspect. You said that I have a, I get on a walks a lot, but I really want to become that hitter where I can move people around also. Um, I just want to be perfect in everything. That's just like every athlete. You want to be your best and do your best. And 
whether it's you're trying to compete for a spot or not, everybody just wants to be the best softball player they can be. How about team goals? What have you guys talked about that you'd really like to achieve this season? Um, the main one is to be ACC champs, and the other one is to make it to the World Series this year. I think another important goal that we should have is to have a higher enough ranking so whenever regionals and super regionals come around, we can host again. That was really fun. It's a lot easier and a lot less stressful when you're not traveling. So I think if we have a really high winning to losing um, season, that and if we can able to host, that would be awesome for us. Now you're in week three of practice here as you get closer and closer to the start of the season. Who do you see out there that you know has really opened up your eye and impressed you, whether it be a returner or a freshman coming in, just even from the fall to the spring that you know has really impressed you and opened it, opened it up for you? Uh, well, we lost three main seniors, uh, an outfielder, a first baseman, and then a pitcher, utility, you can just play anywhere. So those positions come to mind. Outfielding wise, we have the returner who is now a senior, Kelly Eppinger. She's always great defensively. Um, we have Kelly Delashman, who's a really hard worker. She's a freshman that came in. Another freshman that sticks out is Hope Rush. She, she's a great pitcher, and I've been catching her a lot this fall. And then we actually had a transfer, Christine Preby from Florida, who is just an awesome power hitter, and she's going to probably help us out really tremendously defense wise. Last question for you, but as a catcher, you know, I've asked all the catchers this so far, what is your mindset out there, you know, taking control of the field defensively? Obviously, coaches can only come out and talk to the pitchers once an inning, so, you know, if a pitcher is struggling, what are you trying to do out there to calm her down and really control the flow of the game? Um, well, I believe that the catcher's most important aspect that they should have is to get the pitcher strikes, help the pitcher out. How do you make the pitcher um, more comfortable, feel like she can be the best she can be? And she's you're receiving the ball from her, so it's your job and it's your responsibility to make her be the best she can be. Um, whenever one of my pitchers are struggling and I go out and I talk to them and I ask them, what can I do to make you better? Do I need to set up farther out? Do you want me to move my glove faster? What do you want me to do? Um, our pitchers are really great because whenever I go out there and talk to them, they're saying, no, 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 it's just that my curveball's not working or I can't get my foot in the right spot. And me not being a pitching coach, I just say, well, how, how can you do this? Um, you know, just think through. And you always got to be positive with your pitchers because their head case is out there anyways because they're probably about more than 75% of the game, depending on how they do. So you're just trying to help them out a lot. Well, thanks, Kate, and good luck this season. <laughs> thanks.